20 day old baby is back home after a stranger drove off in his mother's car. Just take a look at the surveillance video. Police say the mom went into the gas station in Florence, Kentucky yesterday to pay. Now she took her two year old child along with her, left the baby in the car. And then next you saw someone there getting her black car drive away with baby Henry still inside. Amazingly, the stolen car was found three hours later at another gas station. Henry was sound asleep and has been reunited with his mom. Those three hours must have been just gut wrenching. No arrests though so far have been made in that. New this morning, a group of serial robbers is now off the streets and waiting to be booked into jail. Cuthbert Langley live downtown with details. Good morning, Cuthbert. Hey, good morning, Amy. This spree lasted for two days and unraveled quickly this morning. The first robbery this morning actually happened right where I'm standing at First Avenue and Gay Street. Pretty brazen crime given right across the street. Right there is a security camera that's pretty much surrounding this intersection right there. According to police, it happened early this morning. Three people pulled up in a silver car. Two men had gone out pulled out a gun and demanded money from these victims. They ended up, ended up making off with more than 500 bucks this morning. But here's how this all unraveled. A short time later on Korean Vets and Fifth Avenue, there was another robbery, similar situation here. Two men robbed the victims and then ran away in that silver car, actually driven by a female uh, robber in this case. And then a few minutes later, an officer just happened to be driving by around Sixth Avenue right there near Music City Center and saw two men holding up somebody else. So he immediately called for back out, uh, got out and tried to arrest these guys, but they fled on foot. Thankfully, though, a few minutes later, this officer was finally able to arrest these two. The woman in the silver car saw all of this happen. She sped off, but was later caught in a traffic stop just a few minutes later. So we are talking a total of eight victims as a result of these robberies that lasted two days. It began early Thursday morning as well. I was asking police a little bit more information about exactly how much money was stolen during these robberies, and they say they have a lot to sift through this morning because there was so much taken. They don't know how much belongs to who. So so they still have not told us that yet just because they have a lot of work left ahead of them this morning. So far, one suspect has uh, admitted to doing all four of these robberies. They are wrapping up interviews now with the two other suspects, so we plan to have some charges filed a little bit later on this morning. Reporting live in downtown Nashville this morning, I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Cuthbert, thank you for the update on that. A former juvenile detention monitor is behind bars. He's accused of rape. The Tennessean telling us now that Juan Cruz is accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy at a detention center in Williamson County. He has pleaded not guilty. Police say it happened in 2013 when Cruz was a part-time detention monitor. The arraignment for one of the four young men accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old boy has been pushed back until New Year's Eve. Dayton Jones, Tyler Perry, and Samuel Miller all pleaded not guilty. They're being held on a $1 million bond each. The 17-year-old will be charged as an adult also, but his arraignment was moved because of an illness. That's according to our friends at the Kentucky New Era. Six people are actually charged in sexually assaulting that passed out teen at a party in October in Hopkinsville. The TBI is back on the job on the Holly Bobo case, and the DA who kind of picked a fight with that state police agency is off the job, at least that part of the job, DA Matt Stowe, made the allegations of misconduct against the TBI and barred the TBI from working in his 24th Judicial District. Stowe has now stepped aside to let a special prosecutor take over, allowing the TBI to testify and use evidence they've gathered in the Holly Bobo case. In a statement, the TBI agency director, Mark Gwynn, downplayed the dispute. We reached out to Matt Stowe for a comment, but the DA did not Give us a response. It is video that's hard to forget. Teenagers escaping and rioting at Woodland Hills. Now months later, improvements continue to be made at the youth detention facility. News Channel 5 got a first-hand look at what has changed. The center is adding additional guards to the facility as well as physical changes. DCS is changing the atmosphere by painting the walls, adding new furniture, and creating a more relaxing environment, all in hopes that the therapy will be more effective. So the colors is just to kind of soften up, especially since we've had to add so much hardware to the windows and to the walls. It's just kind of to counteract that so that they'll be able to receive their treatment um, in a more positive way. Other changes include concrete slabs that reinforce the bottom of the fence that surrounds the facility.
Just in time for the holiday travel season, gas prices are dropping like a rock. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres joins us live from one of those gas stations where people are going to be filling up today. So we're talking finally under two bucks a gallon. Yes, finally, Steve, under $2 and certainly putting uh, the customers grinning from ear to ear. If you want to see the cheaper gas prices, it's in the eastern part of Davidson County. We are in Donaldson at the Shell gas station on Bell Road, where, as you can see here at the pump, it is $1.99. It is pretty much the same picture for a lot of gas stations in the eastern part of Davidson County. Now, keep in mind, this is the lowest it has been since 2008 when the highest was at $4.12. But there are more good news. According to AAA, they expect it up to seven cents to drop even lower by Christmas and an additional seven cents by New Year. According to the manager here at the Shell station, this dropped um, down to $1.99 on Tuesday, where it used to be $2.13. Even some of the people who were here uh, were taking pictures of the $1.99 sign. But overall, across the state, the average price is $2.00. And 31 cents in Nashville, it is two dollars and 30 cents, and over at Clarksville, it's sitting at two dollars and 22 cents. Again, good news knowing that the U.S. average is at two dollars and 48 cents. Certainly, will benefit a lot of the holiday travelers for next week. AAA estimates that about uh, nearly 99 people will be traveling on the road. Two million of them will be here in Tennessee. We are reporting live in Donaldson. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5 HD.